I'm Kathy Collier, the program coordinator for the City of Fort Collins ClimateWise program. ClimateWise is a free voluntary program that combines money-saving practices with environmental protection. We have more than 300 business partners participating in the program and they're reducing their energy, water waste, and transportation. We also have more than 34,000 employees represented by all of these businesses in Fort Collins. We have tiered performance levels that partners can achieve. And so there's bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And based on the amount of work that they do each year, they receive more recognition through ClimateWise and through the city. Once partners have joined the program, we basically come in and, and we look at all the operational footprint areas, whether it's water reduction, energy reduction, waste reduction, uh, or really improvements in transportation. We provide a report that helps our partners um, follow up on some of the assessment recommendations and make them a reality in a way that's flexible to them, that allows them to really choose their own course and path going forward. And the rest of our team members, we come together to support those partners as they go along in the program. So Resource for Collins is a local nonprofit conservation company and we're committed to landfill diversion. Every day we, we strive to keep 20 to 30,000 pounds of building materials out of landfill. The material are donated and then they're sold back to the public for a fraction of the cost of buying them new. We have lights, we have hardware, thousands and thousands of linear feet of trim. We have pretty much anything that you'd find at a home improvement store. If we can keep it out of the landfill and get it back into the public's hands, we'll always take it in. We're a small organization and we don't have the ability to always get out there and talk to everybody. ClimateWise is very important for our community just because of the way it's linked everybody together. We're a small group that works with all of these partners, so we collaborate with businesses outside of the city, different departments within the city, so we try to make the most of our resources and share that out with everyone. Um, we got a call just a month ago about the Oslon Center basketball courts that were, got damaged and they were getting pulled up. Within a week, we salvaged 8,000 square feet of basketball flooring, and then it got sold back out into the community, and it's gonna be turned into furniture. When buildings are taken apart or new construction happens, there's a lot of waste that, that goes into our landfill. Over here, we see a lot of slab doors. We've gotten a couple hundred slab doors from the Brinkman Partners. I'm Ashley Haas with Brinkman Construction, and we became a partner with ClimateWise in 2008. Since we were already recycling a lot and donating a lot to resource, and that's great, but there's times when resource can't take our materials. We chose to get creative about how we were repurposing our materials from construction sites. One of the projects that we did really well on this was an OtterBox project, and we demoed the interior of a building, and inside of that building was a ton of glass. Well, it was tempered glass, and nobody could take it. So what we did was we went out to the ClimateWise partners, we got responses back from large partners like Doug O'Dell with O'Dell Brewing. And then we had small partners like Clean Bee Housekeeping that wanted the glass for marker boards in their office. In the end, we were able to repurpose 100% of the glass, which is over 3,000 pounds. None of it went to the landfill. It's really exciting to see that we've grown from 13 business partners in 2000 all the way to more than 300 and growing during 2012. My name is Peggy and I'm with the Fort Collins Downtown Business Association. And I'm Mary Hummel, I'm Director of Music Events at Bohemian Foundation. And together we co-produce Bohemian Nights in New West Fest. It's uh, Colorado music as well as national headliners. We're united in the effort to make sure that we are one of the greenest festivals in the country. And we believe that promoting the environment enriches overall the festival experience for everyone, the attendees, the artists, the volunteers, and the vendors. Every year we make more strides to try to engage the public to put waste in its place. We encourage bicycle ridership. We also refuel all of the generators with biodiesel. Uh, the greening of the festival is larger than just picking up all of the waste. It really has to do with educating the public on how they can participate and promoting that sustainability at the festival. We had on-site sorting stations, and that includes everything from beer cups to turkey legs to programs. Well, we aspire to an 85% diversion rate. That would qualify us as a zero waste event. We actually were able to take 20,000 pounds of waste, 80% of 2011's trash and recyclables, and keep those out of the landfill. Our efforts really reflect a more climate-wise attitude towards 
um, our festival towards our downtown environment, really helping everyone understand that they have a part to play in being environmentally responsible. I'm Shanna Hank and I work at the USDA Agricultural Research Service and we have three different buildings in Fort Collins where we have employees working. We've really tried to encourage people to use alternative transportation, especially cycling. At two of the buildings we have loaner bikes, they can just hop on a bike and go walking to work, carpooling, people who teleworked. We ended up getting over 36,000 miles saved and about 300 gallons of gasoline on top of that. You put together what just a small number of people are doing, you can see that it actually does make a, a big difference. Over the course of the year, we get to see how much work all of our partners have done and the effect in the community. Whether it has to do with the $12 million that our partners saved through energy efficiency projects this year, or has to do with 146,000 metric tons of CO2e that our partners avoided because of all the actions that they took. My name is Bob Flynn. I'm one of the founders of Green Ride, and we've been in operation now about three years. So we started off with 14 people, and we now have 80 employees. It's been a pretty exciting run. One of the very first things that we did when we started our business was join ClimateWise. We just saw that fitting so well with our culture. The reduction of greenhouse gases is the biggest way that we contribute to the cleaner environment in the community. Unfortunately, we, we're not in a position yet where we can use alternative fuels for the vehicles. But we do take advantage of the fact that we are taking people off the road, vehicles off the road, by putting people into a shared ride. The airport run for us is a huge opportunity to reduce greenhouse gases because our customers are in a shared ride environment. That means they're leaving the cars at home. That means they're not driving 150 miles to and from the airport. We're also reservation only, so we're not a bus line. You know, we don't run unless we have to. The information we've received from ClimateWise and ClimateWise members have been fabulous. We do so many things around recycling, repurposing, reusing. Our reservation agents work from home, so they're not driving to and from the office. We have drivers who ride their bikes to work, and then they get in their bus or their van and take people to the airport. Our dispatchers spend hours the night before looking at our plan and that we are using our vehicles in the best way possible, that we're taking as much time and fuel out of the process as possible. We have people contacting us from around the country asking about what we're doing and how we're doing it. Not only do you have the staff at the city, but you have all of these partners to help you in your efforts and to share ideas. It's a group of passionate people that are interested in making an impact in the community. ClimateWise has really grown. You see the signs and the window clings everywhere you go now, and I find myself being more loyal to the businesses that are in ClimateWise. 